Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants once again in Derail Valley. Last time we had a bit of a go at the steam locomotive. Not this one because we crashed ours so I started in the middle of nowhere without a train and had to teleport myself all the way back here one little jump at a time. So yes, but we're going to have a go today at completing a job with the steam locomotive and seeing how it handles... Ooh, hello. Bigger loads as well, hopefully. So let's take a look at the jobs. Now we do ideally want something with a bit more weight to it. This is a four carriage one. 228 tons. I just want to see, want something bigger to get a bit of a feel for it really. So this seems like the one for us to go for. Back down to Harbour and Town, which I think is, is that where we ended up last time? We started last time? We definitely did a job where we ended up. I think, oh, that was the job where we uh, derailed the train about there and I, I lost my cool. Off camera, I had to cut it, but yeah, I lost my cool just about there, I think it was, wasn't it, if I recall? So, well, we'll give that a go, shall we? So, we are looking for four. So, what I want to try and do is get the steam locomotive in position so we can have a go at getting the time bonus. So, we are looking for four flatbeds of steel by the look of it. Oh, hello. Was well, not what I was expecting to happen. So it's probably going to be these, isn't it? These are four flatbeds of steel. That's not quite the same. There's nothing there. So it's got to be these four here. Now, which way? That way. Good. I really didn't want to drive the steam train backwards. So I would have had a level drop if I was uh, stuck with that. I don't really know where. You could. I suppose you could have to go. You have to go to Forest to turn around. I'd like it if they did introduce each station. Like a lot of them do have loops. But not uh, not the ones in the middle of the of the sort of the route. Um, so yeah, so let's go get the steam train lined up against the back of these before we pick up the, that job. Here it is. Let's see if we can remember. So this was one of the. We need to make this put this in the locked position or up there here. Yeah, that one up there. That one here in that position. Open this. Shovel some. Uh, Delicious black gold. We need to do something with the water as well. We need to fill that up. We'll do that in a second. I'm trying to do it from memory. Just to see how far we get. I think... Oh, that's, I think we're full, but we'll chuck in a bit more just in case. Now it looks about full to me. So let's put the shovel there so we know where it is. Let's close that up. Uh, this one is our water fill. And then what? there was one of these, but I'm going to have to look it up because I cannot remember which one it was. Regulator released, open the fire door, coal in the firebox, light a fire, close the fire door, add water to the boiler. So we've done that early. Observe steam being generated, roll the cutoff forward and release the brake. Ah, oh, so there isn't anything we actually missed. Maintain fire to coast reach ring, stop apply brake. If wheel spinning, higher temperature means faster steam generation. Boost the fires with the uh, air valve or with the this was the uh, the steam one if it's stationary, wasn't it? Which one are we looking at? Oh, this... Hello. This one here will boost the fire when we're stationary. And that's it. Cool. So, we need the lighter. Give me my lighter. So... Oh, did I close that? Did, it, did I open it too aggressively? Nope. What's the... Uh, there we go. And... Perfect. So we can close that. We shall observe steam being generated. We shall wait until we've got a bit of steam in there. Use some of that steam to boost the temperature. We'll release the brake. What's this little doodad? Oh, that was the sand, wasn't it, I believe? So, 
so... If we, uh... Roll this forward a little bit, yes, we shall get moving. I love the sound of that, I love the sound of that. And we don't want to go too fast. And we need to figure out what track we actually need to be on. Oh, it's the far one, isn't it? That's easy enough to remember then. Let's roll that back so we're coasting a little bit. Oh, a weird little jump in the speed there. We need to go all the way to the end of this, unfortunately. No shortcuts to be had. I know I said we don't need to go too fast, but I would like to get there some point today. And here's the last junction. So let's just start, let's just start, let's just start applying our brakes. Well, not too fast, we do need to get our... ...pole past it as well, don't we? So, we've got our signal changer. That one needs to change, that one needs to change, that one needs to change, that one needs to change. Perfect. Let's, uh, how do you put it in reverse? Oh, hold up. <laughs> hold up a second. How do you... Oh, it's this, isn't it? I, th I think and hope it is that. It is, yes, perfect. Oh, and I can see absolutely nothing. So, we should have to do the old... We should have to do the old. Step away from the computer desk and then lean our head out the back. little way to go yet. Speed, we'll top up the coal before we go as well, before we go collect the job, I should say. Okay. Very hard to tell how close we are, isn't it? Hello. We're pretty close. I mean, at some point, this will pop up and tell us how close we are. That is my first ever perfect roll up to the uh, to the cargo. I am pretty happy with how that went. I'll tell you what. Where's my spade? Where's where's my spade gone? Uh, uh, <laughs> oops, I do wish it wouldn't change your orientation like that. Um, is it in the lost and found? It is. Hello, Spade. What are you doing over there? Let's go and top up the, uh, whoop, whoop, the coal before we start the job. It does run out pretty fast, doesn't it? Right, so let's put that back in our inventory because we can't afford to lose that. Let's pop that there. Let's jump out. Go and get that job. Which was this one here. To harbour and town. So let's just think here. So it's going to be left, 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 
right, left. See if you can remember that. Oh, wrong, wrong one. But right, let's keep that out for now. Let's get stuck on the back of a back of a carriage. Um, CF02 to five, perfect. That's the ones. Let's pop this in here. Let's put this into forward mode. Let's release the brake. And let's ease off the uh, regulator. Just let everyone know that we're on our way. So I'm hoping at some point you'll be able to sort of pin these things to various walls or something. So I know you can pin it there, but that is not... It's useful to have there, but it's immediately in the way of everything else. So, oh, hold up. Hold up. Oh, please don't be wrong. Oh, we're okay. Left, yes. Let's pull that back a bit, because we are steaming, forgive the pun. Oh, hold on. Steaming we may be, but steaming we are without our goods. So I never attached the carriages, did I? At least I remembered then. That was a uh, could have been worse. Got a lot of steam. Got a lot of steam built up. So let's go back into the station. Twice I've done that, but the last time I got quite far before realising. So we are going quite fast, I need to bear that in mind. It might affect our job time a little bit, obviously. bit close that time but that's fine let's connect it up let's put what is it the roll off what's that called oh chill out how are we doing how are we doing mr couch that's in front of me how are we doing in terms of yeah we could do with a bit more in there couldn't we yep perfect We know we're good for the first junction at least. We can take a moment to top up this. That's probably full, but always one more to be sure. Oh, oh. Always one more to be sure. There we go, let's close that off. That's, uh, oh, something's ringing. I don't know what that ringing is. Is it water? I don't think it's water. That shut off. Could be the steam being full. It's the only thing that really springs to mind. Let's get a little bit more welly there. And then... Oh, hello. That's, that is definitely not what I wanted. That's more like it. Look at this. Again, a very dangerous position to stand in. Well, there's a nice little, a nice little raised piece of land for us to watch the train go past on, which I do enjoy doing with the steam trains. I do love a nice steam train, as I said last time. And everyone was very much in agreement with that as well, which I was quite happy with. Maybe I went a little bit too far here. Probably could have gone a little bit closer.
That is wonderful. So how are we doing in terms of speed? We're only up to about 40, so we could probably afford to give it a little bit more. Let's, uh, let's steam into the engine to get it going a bit. Oh, and also we've got this, haven't we? Is that open or closed? I don't know. Can we tell if we... I think that's open now, isn't it? It sounds like it. Yeah, because that was only if you were moving. That's if you were closed. This was if you were moving, right? Well, it did seem to have a fair bit of temperature. Which is now dying off quite quick. Is that because we're running out of pole? Per chance? Oh, my word. Come on. Perfect. That was perfect. That could not have gone any better. Need to check the map in a sec and see if we're uh, heading towards any sort of junction. Which we're not far off of. Not far off of. Let's finish off with a couple more shovelfuls. Close that off. Could probably afford just to... Oh, maybe no. Maybe no, we couldn't. So we are getting very close to this now. So let's grab this. Let's grab this in our other hand. Let's run forward. Yeah. No, you don't. Left, please. That was a bit confusing. Where's my, uh, where's my engine? It was definitely, oops, hello. It was definitely left here, wasn't it? Yes, and then left again shortly after that. So, give it a little bit more welly. Let's, uh, while we have a moment, top up the coal. Let's ease this off because we can hear the wheels squealing a bit. not very far at all to the next junction, so I might, uh, might give a bit more welly, just slowing down a little bit. How far are we looking here? Hard to tell, isn't it? Let's... Yeah, they're all wrong. I wonder if they do them all wrong on purpose. Obviously, this isn't quite how you'd do it if you're uh, actually a steam engine driver. Nice brisk 40 kilometers an hour. And after this left, the next one is a right and then a left again. I'm gonna ease this off here, so this might be where I derailed previously. A little bit of brake as well, just to be sure we're okay. We seem to be fine, that's perfect. Oh, hello. Uh, I'd like to go to the floor if you don't mind. So whilst we are on a slightly safe path, let's uh, top up the coal. If you could stay in the uh, menu, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Oh, we didn't put the stopwatch on, did we? Which appears to have got no hands on it, so not sure what uh, what purpose that's going to solve anyway, or serve anyway. Okay. Put a little bit more welly. Let's open that vent, get a bit more fire going. Yeah, look at that temperature go up, look. Oh.
how far have we got? We've got a while to the next junction, so that's not too bad. Let's just enjoy the view for a moment, shall we? Wonderful. Oh, doesn't like that much, does it? get a bit more speed up while we're in a bit of a safe zone. Temperature's fine. Pole could do with a top up. Let's take that off. So I'm not too uh, too worried about turning around and finding out we're going 80 just before we hit a corner. Yep, well one bit managed to... Pretty drastic change in sounds there got me a bit concerned. Oh, why can't I pick? Okay, good. There we go. It all seems to be freaking out a little bit. <laughs> it's... Why am I slowing down so much? Oh, why is the brake on? That's why. I don't get what just happened. Okay, let's take the regulator off. Oh, this is all the way. What just happened? All right, let's pick up some of this. Yeah, I don't get why the brake was applied and that was uh, suddenly shut off. Still full of steam. Can't see, I'm mean, I guess the water's full, it's very hard to tell. How far until the, we're about halfway, so we're doing okay at the moment. What's missing from there? What was up there before? I'm not too sure. Got me a little bit worried. Carriages are still attached, so that's something. Do the old hang out the side like a proper, proper steam engine driver. Let's go for the other side, shall we? A bit of variety. Oh, that's a bit, a bit of a corner. Apply a little bit of brake just to ease it under 40. There we go. Take the brake off and let it coast. Look at those. I don't know what they're called on the side of the wheels, actually. But I like it. How are we doing? Still going about 40, so we're okay. Oh, how's the watch going? It's been about four minutes from when I... Obviously, it's pointless. A pointless number. But it's all we've got to go on. How, where, how far away is the junction? We get in there, aren't we? I don't want to go too early because we might end up... Might end up changing it, jumping back, and then I don't know if it maybe resets to a default position if you teleport too far away, maybe. So I'm a bit concerned about that happening. Just very quickly check the name of things. Ventilation, fire, fire. That's the regulator. Cut off. This thing was called the cut off. Okay. All right, so I think we're getting fairly close to this now, and we definitely want to go to the right. is this. Well, not as close as I thought, actually. 
Ah, and see, it's set to go the other way. It does like to uh, freak you out a bit. There she goes, look. Oh, hello. Hello, train. So we're about to go through a tunnel in a moment, so we'll have to obviously apply the old whistle to let everyone know in the tunnel that we are on our way. Here a bit of wheel slippage, but we're actually... Uh, regulator is completely off at the moment. I might just apply a little bit of brake then, just to ease the speed down a bit. Which is doing nothing, there we go. We just get it down under 40 again. No lights on these, of course. They used to, I believe they used to have, back in the olden days, like a little torch on, like a lamp on front, but there's nothing on ours. Oh, we are. Damn it. I was just thinking, oh, we're going a bit fast. You can hear that, oh my God. Yep, that's uh, that's what we call a buggered. That is a buggered. And even our uh, pole carriage is derailed. The only thing which has stayed on the rails is our engine. So that's a pain, isn't it? That's a pain. I haven't done a coal for a while. I think it's basically empty. I thought our temperature is basically... How are we going so fast with, like, no fire? Damn it. Okay. Um. Well, let's restart at the nearest station, I suppose. Ah, this one does have a... No, it doesn't. This one used to have a steam engine. But it does not anymore. Well, do we have these new car... Um, carriages though and no steam engine which is obviously what I'm actually after because that's what I want to use damn okay how are we doing for time 30 minutes perfect okay do I just call that there I think I might have to it's going to be at least another half hour isn't it then time we actually get back to the locomotive and it's probably only about 25 since I actually started recording isn't it but where are we oh we actually are in harbour and town where there is a steam service. So, hmm, what am I gonna do? What I might do is f say fast travel. I might travel up to up to this northeast corner, I think. Because we've never really been up there. And then next time we can start from there. This is this is the only way that I'm aware of, unfortunately, to really fast oh hello, that's not a bad view, is it? To fast travel. You just need to Flick as fast as you can. Once we get far, far enough past harbour and town, we'll be able to fast travel using the go to nearest station. Until then, you need to just wear your thumb out, essentially, by uh, just doing this. And as you can see, it's a pretty fasty method of travel. And you can luckily walk on water as well, which is good. To head a little bit north. So we are probably close enough now. Let's get up here first. There's some very large mountain range. What's up there? Let's head up there, actually. Look, it looks like there's something up there. Let's take a look at that. I thought I saw something. I was obviously mistaken. I thought I saw some structure of some form. Definitely not. There's a radio tower over there, but nothing over here. Maybe I just saw a tree and got very confused. Okay, so if we fast travel now, let's see where it puts us. To the nearest station, please. Ah, it's going to have lost my map, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. Of course it is. No idea what station I'm in, then. Oh, is this... You know, I said when I started the game, I had to uh, fast travel to a different map, a different town. 
think this is the place I fast travelled from. So there is no steam locomotive here that I can see. I couldn't even find the station house, to be honest. So it's just a shunter. Nope, that's not anything. Where is the station house? Oh, there's the station house. Here's the lost and found. Has my map appeared in there? It hasn't. If I, uh... Refresh lost and found? Oh, it almost appeared and then it freaked out a bit. Let's travel away a little bit. Try that again. Nope, my map's just disappeared. Well, we can see on here where we are, I suppose, can't we? Ask, we're in goods factory in town, so we need to head to the east. But we have no idea which way east is, because we don't have a map. And it doesn't want to respawn our map in the lost and found, and there's nothing in our inventory. Let's, uh, well, I heard something drop. I heard something drop. Are we going to be lucky? Yeah, there it is. Awesome. So yes, it's completely correct that there is nothing in this place, because there isn't supposed to be. So let's just superman our way up this mountain range. Let's put this back on our inventory before something silly happens. Oh, it does, doesn't like you going over sheer faces quite as much. So a slightly unsuccessful video. Does mean we get to jump back into Derail Valley though at some point. Oh, there's what we're after. Isn't that quite nice? Nothing on these mountain ranges for us to discover either. I mean, at least, so going up a sheer face, you can only go like, you know, a few meters till it starts freaking out. But here, off. Not a bad trip, is it? You can get down pretty damn fast. So that's probably got us within teleporting distance from the menu, but it's also just there now, so we might as well just skip our way over here. Perfect, so this is the coal. What's it called? The coal place. Coal mine, it's just a coal mine. Thought a slightly more uh, elaborate name, but nope. Just the coal mine. So let's find, uh, have a look around. There's a steam engine, that's what we want. So that's what we're gonna be using next time. It's one of these invisible um, ridges that it sits on. So where is the station? There it is, perfect, cool. So yeah, as I said, I don't really think I've not got enough time to start another job now, because yeah, we're up to at least half our actual video, but let's have a quick look at what we're looking at next time. One of these two really, isn't it? So this is about as heavy, three loads of coal. The 43 minute jobs, we're definitely gonna struggle. The rest of them are just shunting jobs. We don't really wanna do that. And where is it going? It's going to the steel. Ah, so it's going back to where we started actually. So it's a fairly, you go in all the way up there and then all the way, oh no, you're going all the way up there and you're going around here. I don't know if at this junction you can actually come down or if you have to go all the way around, then come down here and then down here to the steel mill. So it's a pretty lengthy journey, but that's what we'll have a go at next time then in Derail Valley. So unfortunately, yeah, a bit of a derailment, but these things do happen. You do have to be very careful with keeping an eye on uh, how everything's going, don't you? But there we are. So I hope you've enjoyed this latest part of Derail Valley. We will be, a bit, will be back next time. I do want to complete a job in the steam train. Obviously, if you have other opinions, if you'd rather I didn't bother, or if there's something you'd know, rather uh, see me do in Derail Valley or in any other game, I suppose, do let me know in the comments. That's always appreciated. If you've enjoyed the video, do click the like button. That's always appreciated as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As I said, questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down below. Get back to you as soon as I see them. Don't forget, I do stream every Wednesday at 6 p.m. We are starting off a new series of months. Well, we've started a new series for Monster Hunter World. So we had a fair stream last week, so you can catch up on that at the U channel beforehand if you're interested. And then this week, I'm hoping to put the uh, 
multiplayer session ID thing up so people can jump in and help me out because, you know, obviously I'm not that good at games. <laughs> no, obviously I'm the best, it's fine. I'm just lying for you to make you feel better about yourselves. So hopefully I'll see you there. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in Derail Valley. And all, as always, even, as always, thank you very much for joining me.